This is an edited version of a previously uploaded video. I made a mistake that will be explained, and there are additional comments to be made as a result. Hello and welcome to another episode of Watchtower Examination. First thing, the topic of this video is not clickbait. This is not satire. This is no joke. Former member of the governing body, Anthony Morris III, giving the final talk at the 2021 annual meeting, confessed that he told his sons not to believe the official Watchtower teaching that young people will never complete any career before the end of this system of things. I turn your attention to May 22, 1969 Awake Magazine, page 15. If you are a young person, you also need to face the fact that you will never grow old in this present system of things. Why not? Because all the evidence and fulfillment of Bible prophecy indicates that this corrupt system is due to end in a few years. Of the generation that observed the beginning of the last days in 1914, Jesus foretold, this generation will by no means pass away until all these things occur. Matthew 24 verse 34 Therefore, as a young person, you will never fulfill any career that this system offers. If you are in high school and thinking about a college education, it means at least four, perhaps even six or eight more years to graduate into a specialized career. But where will this system of things be by that time? It will be well on the way toward its finish, if not actually gone. So, make no bones about it, this was the official position, in black and white, printed by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, in anticipation of the year 1975. Thinking of Anthony Morris, it is pretty interesting to see what was stated in the next paragraph. This is why parents who base their lives on God's prophetic word find it much more practical to direct their young ones into trades that do not require such long periods of additional schooling. And trades such as carpentry, plumbing, and others will be useful, not only now, but perhaps even more so in the reconstruction work that will take place in God's new order. As a parent who bases his life on God's prophetic word, according to the Watchtower, I give you Anthony Morris, former member of the governing body, in the January 2015 JW Broadcasting. As most of you know, I am a father. My wife and I raised two boys in the truth. Once a father, always a father. So even though my sons are grown and married, I still think like a father. A father. He declared that he grew up his sons in the truth. And we all know that, to Anthony Morris, the truth is what comes from the faithful slave, then and now. So, in harmony with what the faithful slave said then, the faithful slave now says... So, I give you what the faithful slave said then about getting your children into trades like plumbing and carpentry. Here's what the faithful slave said now. We need construction skills around the world right now. And think about this. We will not need doctors or lawyers after Armageddon, but we will need carpenters and plumbers and similar construction trades. Then, it was because Armageddon was expected in 1975, but now it is because they oppose college education. Anthony Morris had a big confession to make in 2021 at the annual meeting. Many years ago, my sons, Jesse and Paul, were in the early years of school, elementary school. And back at the time, I haven't heard it a lot lately, but from time to time, this would come up at a social gathering. Now, mind you, they're second grade, first grade, but these boys were thinkers. So they'd listen and they appreciated all these older ones. And we had a number of them in Rhode Island, longtime servants of Jehovah God. However, from time to time, this, this statement, and they'd be looking at my sons and, oh, you'll never graduate in this system. Not going to happen. So, you know, I'm at their house. They just fed us. Uh, <laughs> Lord, help me. What am I going to do here? That is a clear indication that he does not believe what they believe, which is born from what the Watchtower taught. But this would come up from time to time, at least during those years. And maybe it was post-1975. I don't know. 
There goes the reason the previous video was hidden and this new one uploaded. I thought he said close, C-L-O-S-E, 1975, but he actually said post, P-O-S-T, 1975. I subsequently double-checked to see he got married in 1971, and his sons were old enough to question, so there is a good likelihood that it was indeed post-1975. This makes the thing all the more bizarre. Am I to take it that after 1975 Jehovah's Witnesses were still telling young people they would not graduate? They never learn, do they? As you can see, Morris did not believe, but dared not express his doubt to his Jehovah's Witness friends and colleagues. Clearly a seed planted by the watchtower. So, in 2021, Morris is making a big confession. But they'd make these statements, and I'm going to give you a big confession because, you know, this one comes clear to mind, driving back from the gathering, uh, Jesse and Paul are, you know, thinking and they're troubled. They're puzzled. What is this about? Why? Because, you know, they had goals and what are we going to do? And they're thinking of the things in the future for them is growing in their love for Jehovah. You know, is that true, Dad? And so I'd say, look, and let me tell you, these people saying these things were longtime servants. Longtime servants. How interesting. Longtime servants. He is doubling down, making sure he lays this on his Jehovah's Witness friends, so the audience will never get it was the Watchtower who taught it. This is a professional liar on display. Experienced people, if any of you are guilty, God loves you, he forgives you. <laughs> if you did that back then. That is an awfully big statement. If you are guilty? Guilty of what? What does God forgive? God forgives sins. Anthony Morris is declaring it a sin to have taught people they should not go to college or whatever else because of a false prophecy about the world, as we know it, coming to an end. God will forgive you, he said. Has the governing body asked forgiveness? Oh, I forgot, they don't need to. Their version of the truth is that it was some overzealous Jehovah's Witnesses who believed it, like some longtime servants. Morris is confessing. If any of you are guilty, God loves you, he forgives you. <laughs> If you did that back then, uh, you didn't help anybody. They were egged on and congratulated in their belief pre-1975, saying in 1974, quote, reports are heard of brothers selling their homes and property and planning to finish out the rest of their days in this old system in the Pioneer Service. Certainly, this is a fine way to spend the short time remaining before the wicked world's end, end quote. First, the organization deceived them. Then it congratulated them for believing, to the point of liquidating their homes and property for the lie. And here is Morris, putting it all on the victims of the organization's deception. So did Anthony Morris not have the courage to correct his friends? Why play along with their delusion, but secretly telling your sons the truth, then make a big confession in 2021? So that one particular night, we're, we're driving back, it was a little distance from where we were, and... They brought that up. They're sitting in the back seat, so we're having this conversation. And I told them, I said, look, you boys remember, you got to keep on the watch. This thing could go on and be ready for it to go to 2020. <laughs> Honest. There you have it. Now, allow me to add that there is nothing wrong with a Jehovah's Witness doubting the official teaching of the organization. In fact, I wish every Jehovah's Witness would. But it is quite something to hear one who is now a member of the governing body, as he was when he gave the talk, confessing that he told his sons not to believe what the official teaching of the organization was. Yes, he passed it off as coming from his friends, but it was the official teaching. Now, I am prepared for the Jehovah's Witness apologists who will come here to try their hands at damage control. They are likely to say, this was after 1975, after the expectation failed, and maybe some misguided witnesses were still expecting the end anytime soon. To them I say, let that be a lesson for you in honesty. Had Anthony Morris simply admitted that the Watchtower taught this and come clean, then sorry JW apologists would not have to try to clean up this mess. First he said he did not know exactly when this happened, then he went on to say it was almost 40 years ago. How interesting. 40 years before 2021 would be 1981. 
What are the odds of Anthony Morris calling 1981 around 1975? You just cannot keep a story straight when you are lying through your teeth. When Jehovah's Witnesses, especially old Jehovah's Witnesses, talk about growing their children in the truth, how do they reconcile that with the myriads of doctrines that they once taught to be true that turned out to be lies? Lies that they cannot come clean about as they press the activate cognitive dissonance button. If only Jehovah's Witnesses could learn the dogma to thine own self be true. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you.